Hey guys, I'm Anthony Drimmick, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of info on what this video series is actually going to be about. Every Wednesday, I'll be live streaming with Jack McVeigh and inviting other MBL stars as guests to join us in some gaming and a little bit of banter whilst answering any questions you guys might have about basketball or just life in general. Uh, this week's first guest was Mitch Creek. The rest of this video will be uh, some of the highlights from that stream, including Mitch talking about his journey in the NBA and a bit of banter about where I might be playing next season. If you want to watch the whole stream, you can check it out over on my Twitch channel. Also, just a quick reminder that I live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash drimdog. I would appreciate it if you guys subscribed and liked this video, as well as follow my Twitch and social medias for notifications when I go live. All the relevant social media links will be posted in the description below. Thanks, guys, and enjoy. You hear me? Oh, hey, there he is. Yeah. Oh, hey there, me hearties. <laughs> What's up, brother? How we doing? What up, you fucking cocksmackers? Oh my god! <laughs> when are we going live? We're not live, are we now? No, are we? we're we're live. We're, we're in live. it. We're in it here. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to swear? Yeah, or yeah, no? yeah, yeah. The stream's M uh, M plus or whatever, so you're allowed. To, you can go crazy. What about for the last two months, mate, with this coronavirus? Um, look, honestly, I've been. Just at home training. Uh, after I hurt my knee, it was actually a lot worse than we thought. Um, so I kind of just rehabbed that, and then it got to the point where it just didn't really get better. Yeah. We just kind of been working out at home. We had a, like a little secret venue we can go and train at and shoot at. So me and Gibbo, because Gibbo's obviously moved in, um, we've been going there three days a week. I was like, why aren't we? What are we waiting for? It was for me. I didn't yeah, really. I, I, I didn't want to cut you off. I didn't want to cut you off. <laughs> so you, you, you're telling the story, so I wanted to wait till you finished. But yes, can you can nah, you fucking cool. ready up, Creaky? All right, Plenty let's fucking time. go. All right, like three bikes, and I literally rode one the night before with Gibbo. Um, I took him on the back, and then the yeah. next morning, like we left it out overnight in a little kind of sideway bit you can't see on the street. Woke up the next morning, came back from being at Kmart. And I was like, where's my fucking bike? Oh, God. My sister's oh. like, oh, it'll be in the shed. I looked, like, ran inside and it was gone. And someone had fucking taken my bike. Oh, he got stolen. How are we doing this? I reckon oh, we, yeah. we, we, we take turns. Oh, we take turns to pick where we go. Creaky, please. As the guest of honor, let us... Where do you want to drop, big fella? It's all on you. I, oh, I want to go. I won't judge you too harshly. If Two. You pick a spot. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can respect it. How's your how's your building? Can you build? Oh, my build's pretty pretty fucking solid. Alright, well there you go. <laughs> so what about you, Jim? What's been happening, mate? Dude. It's been a long time. Absolutely fuck all, to be honest. Me and Jack have been working out pretty much every day, or every other day. Well Jack every day, me every other day. You guys wanna know a funny story about Creaky's game attack? So uh he hundred uh, percent copied me in, at the shoot. Just want to let everyone know that that Creek Dog. There would be no Creek Dog <laughs> Mate, without no Drim Dog. All right. It's been 13 <laughs> seconds, and you're already talking uh, absolute poo. We'll be on top for 55. Oh, he was really bad. Uh, what about you, Nick? What have you been doing in coronavirus? You know you got fucking caught over there in the states. Nah, I've just been working out with Jack every day. That's it. Oh, what a weird time. Hey, and me like every other day ish. Uh, every time you decide to wake up again. Yeah, that's true, it's true. <laughs> it's true. It's... What do you mean? I showed up today and I beat you all in shooting, so you gotta fucking step up your game, boys. One drill. I get my work in, and then I'm done. I can't get up from the couch again. I'm a lot older than you guys, alright? Creaky will tell you, we're fucking getting older, alright? Mate, it doesn't get any easier. <laughs> Knock him down. Are we about to get a dub for yeah, our first one? Yeah, we are. Oh, we just... <laughs> Let's go. What a dub. That's the first game. Oh boy, we got a W. That is off its. That's off its dial, boys. <laughs> all right, all right. Hang on. Nikki carry. Nikki carry. So Nikki, where are we going? I jumped out. We literally have to go here. <laughs> 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 I don't know what they sound like. Oh, oh, oh. 
Maybe we gotta get Kenny on stream to tell us what the fuck was going on with his hair. It was so good though, like it was so lush. Nah, it was. It was very nah. lush. His hair was lush. Very, <laughs> very lush. That's a good way to describe it. That's the only word that describes it, in my opinion. Creaky. Your shit bobbled when you were <laughs> on the court. <laughs> yeah. What, well, my genius. junk or my hair? <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon... So, uh, what I'm thinking is... So, like, Trim is currently proceeding from Oh, that. for fuck's sake. How many times are you gonna bring that up in one night? <laughs> I'm thinking he goes bald. Yeah. Shaves it off. Listen, I have the biggest Vulcan head on the planet. I can't shave my head. Nah. It's like going to a strip club and then you, you get a lap dance, but then you realize you paid it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never been to a strip club, but that's what I've heard. Oh, just what you've heard, huh? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I thought... How are we going to score against each other when we're on the same team? Uh, oh. 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 Nah, jokes, 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 boys, jokes. Hey, look, I tried. I, I actually tried to come back. And I was told my services were not needed. Right, choice you're making I just this, got a friend request from someone called Sniping Drimic. Hmm. Alright, <laughs> oh, well, it's fucking on then, I guess. This is fucked. Whole nother team. Oh, my, our whole team was waiting on the roof. That's disgusting! I don't have Cloudbot. I have stream. I have uh, Streamlabs. Huh? Oh, the bush eye? Oh! Oh! Uh. Oh! Oh! Unlucky, unlucky. OG, I want to try and get in your match, but I would get whooped. I'm trash. Hey, feel free to jump right in and just let me shotgun you in the face. It's all good. No, it. Oh my god. There's one real person. Yeah, I got him. I don't know if that was a bot. It might have been. Peek, mofo, peek! There's people firing this afternoon. They're coming down. I think. We're getting shot from behind. We're about to get pinched. I knocked pinched. one up top. Alright, let's go pinched. up top. Oh my, uh. My launch pad, you ready? We have to. Ready? Quick. Ready, ready, ready? Broke one, shit. Okay, follow me, follow me. Got one with you. Broke one. T139. That guy's on loaded. me, on me, on the bottom, down the bottom. Get on me. Coming, coming. Got one. Oh my god. Kill them all. Let's go! A team just Wait, there's a launchy. There's a launchy. On oh team. my god, I just, I just sniped the fuck out of that guy. Yeah, this is that. There's launchy right here. Okay, launch. He's wired. He's right, wired. He's once for wide again. He's wired. dead. My wall now, bitch! Oh, let's go. Another dub. Two out of three, boys. Let's go. This is gonna be a shit show of a landing. No give aways out the moment. I can't spell! Uh, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. I must have been drunk. Oh, I reckon there's a few people coming. Holy shit, bro. Oh, let's go! Do you reckon they're sniping blue us? House, blue house. Everyone blue house, blue house. People are landing late on us! Nah, this is fucked. This is fucked. There's so many people sniping! <laughs> I got no mats. Someone literally oh, landed no. on me 30 seconds after we started and started pickaxing me. They're fucking all on me! No! No, he's testing me, Jack! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. No, Jack. Oh, oh my god, man! <laughs> Look, first, I gotta explain why I have a sleeve on. Um. I burnt myself. Now nah, listen, I burnt myself really badly, steam burn. And every band that it puts on keeps falling off and it hurts when I play the game. So this is the only thing that's going to stop it from hurting. It's over. I'm about to fucking bob oh, off. Just just keep landing on me. Trim's in beast mode. 
Could be a bot, yeah. Dude, you like played, you played like a little bit of good defense and you just started fucking screaming and flexing. I was like, wow. This guy's, everyone's gonna think <laughs> nah, this guy's on crack. Very, very... I think they do think that already. <laughs> I don't care who you are and you guys know that like, you and me dream fight nearly every time we play each other, but at the same time, off the court, you know, you know if you called me or ever asked anything, that I'd drop everything and come and help yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah. There's such a difference between us on and off the court, and people seem to forget that, you know, we're just ultra competitive motherfuckers that don't want to lose no matter what it is. So, I get it all the time, it's hilarious, especially now in Melbourne. Um, <laughs> I'll meet someone randomly somewhere and the guy will be like, or whoever it is, just goes, I thought you were going to be an absolute fuckhead. Yeah. I was like, wow, okay, like, like, no, nah, you just, like, you just seem like such an arrogant asshole. And I was like, okay, fair enough, like, cool. But it's always just because, like, oh, on the court, you're always talking shit to somebody, you're always this, you're always that, and I don't know, I, I honestly don't even pay any attention to how I am on the court, I just want to fucking win. I had someone message me the other day on Instagram being like, oh, like, Dream isn't coming back to Adelaide, why are you hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, nah, people for sure don't get it, man. Past the whole trying to care what anyone else thinks. I just got lit up by the bo Oh my god! I'm nearly dead! Dude, the bot just fucked me up. Oh, hey, you know what I need, Nikki? Yes, sir. Let's go. Does this music come with the helicopter? Nah, nah. Nick's playing it. I was about to say, I've, I've only ridden in one of these like once, so I didn't know if it was like a. I make him play it every time. I don't start driving the helicopter till he plays it. <laughs> people landing on me? Oh, boys! I need help, boys! No, brothers! Oh no, I'm getting thirsty. Allegedly. I'm cracked. Ah, Mr. Terrific. Hello, brother. Oh, oh no! God. Do you have any heals, Mr. Jackie boy? Hit him for a lot. I'm healing. Nice. Can we get Nick in that? Nah, we'll just have to I watched what? that snipe come straight for my dome. Ooh. Oh god. Oh, how does he not die? I don't know. That's, whoa. That's insane. Oh, this is cool. Oh yes. boy, Grim. Have the boys card though. Dude, I think a guy's now resing so them. Oh he is. He is. Don't let him get it off. No, oh, he got it off. Finish his teammates. No, they didn't oh land. they didn't it didn't work. Uh, but it also put it on cooldown! He's trying to sort of come over to revive this guy. Oh let's how did he die? Go, oh, you shot- Dude, go. what a fucking comeback, boy! Let's go! Uh, Creaky, what NBA team did you, uh, play with? Or get signed with? Give us- give us a store give us that, uh, that whole experience, I reckon. Cause I wanna hear about- it. I actually am genuinely interested in that. I guess it- it kinda started- I got invited to, um, the Brooklyn Nets training camp. Yep. Um, which, I guess, for me, like, it was a non-guaranteed thing, it's not like- you go there and, um, you know, like, you're guaranteed to go and even be asked to come back for the second week or the third week or the fourth week. Um, it's basically like about six weeks in total if you get all the way through it. Um, and I don't, like, if people didn't realize the timeline, I literally came off an MVP season with Adelaide and I was the fans MVP for the NBL. So it was kind of the first time I was really going to get signed to some good money and for me it was a really big decision so I went to um, the camp and it was literally 50 grand to go to America that's all I was making and the rest of the, that kind of you know is just 
are you good enough? Can you stay around? Can you like make it through to the next stage? And um, I made it all the way through camp. Uh, oh, it was me and one other guy. And I mean, it was the most surreal experience walking into, I guess, you know, the the JFK, like John F. Kennedy Airport, and in New York, and coming out, and you know, you're walking in seeing guys like D'Angelo Russell and Damari Carroll and you know, like big time guys that have come and made a name for themselves. Um, you know, even guys like one of the smoothest cats I got to play with and, you know, who's a good friend is Spencer Dimwitty. Yeah. Like, unbelievably talented player. Um, so that whole kind of start there was was something I didn't know what the, like, what the hell was going to happen. It was just roll in, hoop and see how you go. Now, I didn't end up making that cut and I got assigned to the G League team. Um, which again, you know, you're, you're only making around like twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars there. Yeah. So it was a, it was more about the experience and you know, who am I going to play in front of? What do I need to try and find out to see what I'm missing or what I need to do to get to the next level? And it was worth, you know, not I guess looking after myself financially to more. All right, it's an experience thing, and let's just see how this goes. Because if I don't, then I'm going to be fifty years old. Wondering, oh, like, why didn't I, you know, why didn't I go and do it? Yeah, and then obviously started playing with the Long Island Nets, which is the Brooklyn Nets uh, affiliate G League team, and played there for about probably four months um, before it eventually came, and that was my first call up to the NBA. And it was with the Brooklyn Nets, and they asked me to sign for a 10-day contract. Um, that all kind of went, you know, I guess to plan, as you would say, and. Um, and the first day of my actual contract, um, I'm on the bench and the coach has said to me, um, hey, look, you know, you won't be playing tonight because I literally got signed that morning. Uh, he goes, you won't play tonight, but, um, you know, enjoy it, take it in, rah, rah, whatever else. So I'm sitting on the bench, you warm up and that's two hours before the game, two and a half hours, you're sitting there, you kind of remember the plays and trying to learn as much as you can. But, like, I, I'm sitting on the bench and no shit, Rondé Hollins Jefferson for us drives in, gets fouled on a layup, uh, goes to shoot two, but pretty much does his shoulder. And people don't know this, but in the NBA, when your team gets hurt shooting a free throw, the opposing team's coach picks the free throw <laughs> shooter for the other oh team. God. So, so you started shooting yourself. They. <laughs> so we're playing the Knicks. So the Knicks coach comes and goes, picks me. So he looks down and the co like my coach, Kenny Atkinson, points at me and he's like, Freaky, you're up. And I was thinking, oh shit, I'm about to play. <laughs> like, walk on the court. I was so nervous that I like, oh, my legs were shaking, my hands were shaking, instantly started sweating. And I knew I had to shoot two free throws. So I'd sat cold two and a half hours without even stretching or moving. And then like, go shoot two free throws. And I was like, this is my fucking NBA debut. <laughs> what the fuck? am I doing? Like, I need to fucking, like, concentrate. So, go up, shoot my first free throw, it was so fucking bad. <laughs> I could not feel the ball. <laughs> I was so scared. Um, I was like, I got really emotional because I started to think about, like, my mom, my dad. Um, yeah, so I'm, I actually walked up, missed my first one so bad, and then the second one I made, got subbed straight back off, went back to the bench, boys went nuts. Um, like it was such a such a cool moment because yeah. you officially are an NBA player. Like you scored in the NBA. Like you didn't just stand on a court and make up space. Like you contributed. Um, so that was amazing. Uh, the next game, um, I played quite a bit. I played about 20, 25 minutes, and I played against the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, uh, sorry, against the the Boston Celtics. Oh shit! And played against Aaron Baines. Oh yeah. Um, you know, got to play in TD Garden. Obviously, where some greats like Larry Bird had obviously played and. Um, you know, MJ had great battles on that court, so just to step on the court and play on the court they played on was was pretty like pretty spectacular in itself. Um, yeah, he can build for sure, god damn. Um, and then yeah, like, I came out that game, I think I had around, like, it was like 6 points, 5 rebounds, couple of assists, some really good defensive possessions. Um, and that was the first time I really felt like, you know what, I'm, 
I feel like I'm good enough to do this shit. Yeah. Um, oh shit. So yeah, that was that was obviously incredible. Um, signed another 10 day straight away with Brooklyn. Um, we are getting absolutely pummeled in oh, here. No. Uh, watching you boys just cop it. I signed a second 10 day straight away with them. Uh, lasted about four days on that. Then they had a sign and trade. Uh, near the trade deadline, and I got released. Went back, finished the G League season. Did uh, we made the well, we were the overall champions of the regular season uh, with the most winningest record. Were the Eastern Conference champs. Got to the grand final, the semi final, and the night before that semi final was to be played, I got a call from the Minnesota Timberwolves, and they asked if I wanted to get signed with them on a 10 day. Um, so I played 50 odd games in the G League, which is a really kind of rather selfish league but we had an amazing team um, that were really unselfish guys and we played a really good team kind of style so it was pretty cool to kind of change the culture um, did all that and then I guess made the decision to to go to that <laughs> um, oh no <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome so ended up um, Ended up doing a 10 day, and then I actually got signed to a full contract uh, by the Timberwolves. Uh, only played one game there. They only had about eight or nine games left. Um, played the one game, and that was kind of all she wrote. Came back, did Summer League again with them, had a really good tournament, made the grand final there, and we lost basically on the buzzer. Um, yeah. But that was kind of my NBA story for that part. Came back to Australia, obviously this season in the NBL, and had a season that I felt was pretty solid and did everything I felt like I probably needed to do to kind of showcase to go back there. We basically had a team signed and ready to go and then obviously I hurt my knee and then the coronavirus happened so yeah. we're actually just sitting on our hands at the moment just trying to stay fit and healthy and when it all comes back up again if they get to play then hopefully depending on what they do with the structure I'll get to go back there and play so uh, we'll wait and see but yeah the story's not over yet it's, um, it's a process and we're just trying to work back to it.